you very much for agreeing to do our investigation. It's really useful for us. Let me just explain what it is that we're doing. Uh, we're looking at attachment in children aged between the ages of 12 and 18 months. Uh, we're assessing the security of the infant's attachment, and we're going to place them in a mildly stressful situation, uh, which shouldn't be too distressing for the child. And there are going to be eight stages that we put them through. And this will involve you with the child, interacting with the child, uh, a stranger and you with the child, a stranger alone with the child, and the child in the room. Okay, yeah. Makes sense. Um, now, we're expecting the child to show some distress as some part of that. Okay. And at any time that you are uncomfortable with that, then please stop the uh, experiment. There's, okay. no, no, there's no reason to keep it going if you feel that the child is unduly distressed. Um, so you've got a full right to withdraw from the experiment. Okay, um, the experiment will be filmed, and at the end, if you would like to give your permission for us to use that film, that would be very okay. nice. But that's entirely up to you as well. Um, and if you're happy with the study, to continue with the study, if you can just sign yes. this form. Thank you. So, could, so if he gets distressed, can, so can I stop the stages early? You can stop the stages early. But we not withdraw it totally. We can carry on the oh, okay. system. Yeah. Each stage will last for three minutes. Okay. But at any point where you think he's distressed, we can send a stranger in or we can, oh, okay. or you yeah. can go in and we can continue the study. Okay, that's um, good. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. any time that you oh. are really upset about it, then we can stop okay. the study. Okay, thank you. That sounds really good, Jen. Good. Okay. Very good. Okay, thank you. We'll just go to the...
tell you today. Yeah, no, we are. Like during it, 
there was times where he did get, I, I was surprised actually, I didn't think he'd get so upset. Mm. But it, it was fine because, you know, we ended this, we shortened the stages and, mm. and that was fine. And then at the end, within a couple of minutes, he was back to normal. So mm. he's, and I'm fine. I enjoy, we enjoyed doing it actually, I think. So you don't think there are any long term No, 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 not at all. He, you're like, yeah, we took him home and he's like, he's fine. He's okay. totally back to normal, yeah. That, that, that's great. And I'm glad it was a yeah. positive experience. It's yeah, really helpful for good. us. Um, I'm wondering if it's okay to use the data that we've collected in our study, if you're happy. To yeah, that. totally, yeah, you can use all of the data, and we're happy to use the film footage as well, if you... Oh, well, that's really kind, that's, yeah, that's, that's brilliant. Cool. Okay, thanks very much. Um, there are some extra questions that yeah. I'd just like to ask. Uh, firstly, how did you feel when we were doing the study? I've got to admit, I was a little bit nervous, mm -hmm. because I knew that it was about attachments. In my head I was thinking, oh my god, <laughs> I hope it's coming out, it's being attached. So that so was I, I did feel yeah I mean, my sat he was he he, he acted normally I think but me I did feel a bit nervous and did that anxiety continue through the study or? yeah yeah I think I think it might have, yeah I think it, my, my behaviour might have been affected slightly by it actually mm -hmm. I was conscious of what I was doing rather than just doing it kind of naturally mm -hmm. yeah yeah but was there a fear of being judged. Yeah. A little bit, right, yeah. yeah, yeah, just because I knew what it was, I knew what the age, yeah, yeah. But it didn't wildly change my behaviour, but yeah, there was that little bit in my head, yeah. Mm. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Um, did it have any impact on you during the study, that, that feeling of being judged? Did it have any impact on your behaviour? Yeah, I think so. I think I did act. There were... Yeah, I'm trying to think of a good example, but there was a few situations where maybe I would have done things that I wouldn't normally have done, for instance. Like sitting on the chair, for instance, when he's in the room, I would never... <laughs> Do you know, I know it's kind of sure. the experiment, but... So he did, kept coming back to me, but that's really because he's thinking, why are you sitting there? <laughs> um, so your behaviour could change. Yeah, because, yeah, 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 yeah. And then, you know, and I, I, obviously I wouldn't even look to cry for as long. Um, and then, I guess, some of the times when I was playing as well, I think I was... Really tr like trying to play with him, whereas yeah. what I might normally be a bit more relaxed, and I just kind of if he brings it to me, I'll play with him. But mm. I was kind of like, let's play. So yeah, I think it did change more. Sure. Bit, yeah. Uh, and what about being filmed? Do you find that uh, difficult or? Uh, that was that wasn't too bad actually. I forgot that it was being filmed oh, okay. to be honest, but it was just more the the like, situation that yeah, 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 influenced your yeah. behaviour. How you were. I don't think it influenced your, uh, him at all. <laughs> um, yeah. He was, I think, yeah, he was, obviously he's a baby, he doesn't know, but it could be just me, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that George did act naturally in that situation, or did you think that he also was a little bit wary of the situation? Yeah, he's never ever been in that situation, I suppose it is a proper strange situation, he's never been in that situation before. Mm -hmm. So actually it's hard to know, I, I guess that must be his totally natural reaction to that. Right, okay. Well, that's he, yeah, so like for instance he tried to get out of the... <laughs> that, yeah, that's, that, that's him. So you felt that was authentic behaviour that he was displaying? <laughs> yeah, 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 he, he would try to get out of anything like that. Oh, right, okay. Um, do you think there's anything else that impacted on how the baby acted in that situation, or even how you acted? Yeah, actually, because I, I go to work and his dad looks after him at home. Mm. So. I wonder whether he might have acted differently if his dad had been there, actually. Mm. Um, because I think in some situations he's probably more attached to his dad than he is to me. Oh, right, okay. So I, I wouldn't, I mean, I don't know whether um, he would have displayed different behaviour if, if his dad had been there than me. In, in one of the sessions, the child infant was wary of the stranger, but not unduly distressed. Yeah. Do you think if the father had been... Uh, the person there that he might have shown more distress in that situation. Maybe actually, yeah, mm. yeah. Because he again, because I was at work a lot of the time, so he's used to me not being there, right. kind of thing. So he, well, I know he was distressed, wasn't he? But maybe he would have been more distressed yeah. than his dad. Yeah. And also maybe the fact that the straight, you know, you were the stranger as well. His dad's got a beard. You've got a beard. You're not <laughs> okay, so, so it's used to. It's yeah, used to yeah that like that. a woman would it? Acted differently, no, that's very strange to look at a female. Yeah. I don't know, mm. it didn't look like I don't know, yeah. So, I... well, that, yeah, okay, that, that's fine. Um, do you have any further questions on how the study went or, or anything to do with yeah. what we've been looking no, at? No, just it's really, it's really interesting actually. We really enjoyed doing it. We just 
And is this the kind of study take place all over the place? Is it kind of just a UK study? Or is it? Well, this study, no, this study has been going on um, really since the 1960s oh, right. and through the 1970s. Uh, and even goes on today. It's been studied around the world, originating in the United States and, and the UK um, as well, and then it went to Europe, and then it started going to be studied in uh, Asia. And for example, in Japan, we don't see the same behaviours at all from uh, the children. Um, what we find with Japanese children is because they're very rarely separated from their mothers, that they become really distressed whenever they're uh, either with a stranger or on their own. And uh, one of my colleagues actually had to stop the study uh, in Japan because the children were just so distressed. And it shows that cultural yeah. differences still occur with child rearing. There's no right or wrong in that, it's just how Yeah, so I suppose it would come across as like there was a problem with their attachment, but it wouldn't be because it would be a different way of doing it. So, right. yeah. yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's very really important we don't judge other cultures yeah. by, by ideals from the yeah. so. Okay, thank you. So. Yeah, yeah, no, that's Okay, that's been really useful. Yeah, thank, thank you very much. You.